welcome back to my channel and guess what I'm filming I, <laughs> I know it's bad I'm sorry I had to do it and we'll be doing my September releases so let's get going so after that cheesy joke I had to do it um there's actually not that much coming out in September at least not something that doesn't appeal to me there's still a whole bunch of books coming out but these are the ones that I'm interested in which makes me think there's just nothing coming out that much but that's on me I'm picky when it comes to books so let's get going my first book is The Gods Below by Andrea Stewart and this is a series in a world savaged by ancient magic where precious gemstones bestowed magical abilities on the few individuals able to harness the power full of clandestine power struggles and the battles between gods the story follows Hakara, a young woman searching for her missing sister and holds her anything to find her, even Lady rebellion against the gods themselves. I'm really hoping to continue to read the book, even though this book will come out in September, but this is the sequel to Throne of the Fallen, and this is Throne of Secrets by Carrie Manscalco. A Michael Prince is determined to save his kingdom. Gabriel acts the infamous as the Prince of Brittany, the self-proclaimed rake of rakes has always led for indulgence in delicious food, in tantalizing women, and most of all, in the thrill of the hunt, where his love for danger can take over. But when his favorite adventure takes a deadly turn, he realizes something is very wrong in his demon court. With the clock ticking, the king must turn to the only one who may uncover the truth, a journalist he has spent a decade avoiding. My next book is At the End of the River Stix by Michelle Kowicki. Before he can be reborn, Zan has spent 499 years bowed in a 500 year curse to plus his source for the monstrous family man, and if he fails, he dies. In Portland, Bastion is grieving. He survived a car accident that took his mother and impulse purchased a crumbling bookstore with the life insurance money. But in sleep, death smokes keep dragging Bastion into Zan's office. It shouldn't be a problem to lock his soul and forget he ever existed. But when Zan follows Bastion through his memories of grief and hope, Zan realizes that he was not ready for Bastion to die. The next book is A Dark and Drowning Tide by Alison Soft. Lorelei Kaiskill, a vocal lovist with a quick temper and an uneven and an even quicker wit is on expedition with six eccentric nobles in search of a female spring. The magical spring promises a tall power which the king wants to harness to secure his reign of the in battle country of Brunistan. L'Oreal is determined to use this opportunity to prove herself and make a wildest, most impossible dream come true. To become a naturalist, aim at the travel freely the true lands she always only ever read about. So this is the sequel to Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong and this is the Viol Violet Things. Again, I may or may not read this just because I did not really enjoy the first book. Kalia Tolemi has succeeded in the impossible despite the odds she has won Sanders, Blood and Games, and eliminated King Casa, her talent uncle and the former ruler of Talon. She serves now as a royal advisor to Casa's adopted son, Uncle Shin C who has risen through the throne. All that Kelly know is it isn't really August. I didn't like the ending though, it just the story itself felt really flat, so I don't know, it was a hit or miss for sure. My next book is The Scarlet Throne by Amy Liao. Binsa is a living goddess chosen by the gods to dispense both mercy and punishment for her place on the Scarlet Throne, but her reign hides a deadly secret. Rather than channeling the wisdom of an immortal deity, she harbors a demon. Ooh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> Speak of the devils, my next book is All the Devils by Caitlin Wilson. Hell is empty and all the demons are Raven's one activity. Mourning the sudden death of her sister, Annie Emerson knows she must come to terms with the life without Violet. But on the day of the funeral, Annie is shocked to discover one thing. The person in that casket is not her sister. Violet is alive. Convinced that her sister's elite boarding school is covering up the truth, Andy enrolls at Raven's World Academy to discover what really happened and find Violet. She probably quit the Academy or something. And my last book is Long Live Evil uh, by Sarah Rees Brennan. A tale for everyone who has ever fallen for the villain. Well, I'm guilty. <laughs> when her whole life collapsed, Ray still had books. 
Then she seizes a second chance of living, a magical bargain that lets her enter the world of a favorite fantasy series. I wish I had that. She wakes to the castle on the edge of a hellish chasm, in the kingdom of the Brink of War, home to a dangerous monster's scheming courtiers, and her favorite fictional character, the once and forever emperor. He is impossibly alluring, as only fiction can be, and in this fantasy world, she discovers she's not the heroine, but the villainess in the Emperor's Tale. Those are all the books I have for September. I'm sure there will still be more by the time I upload in this video, but yeah, there's going to be some more books that I miss, so just keep on checking it out. I find these books on Goodreads, so that's why I keep having them. But yeah, let me know what you're excited for September. Like, guys, Book Away is coming close. I am so excited. Like, it's gonna be a good Book Away. I'm actually planning to film two videos. So, I got my batteries charged. I have more than one battery. We're gonna win this. So, I love this Book Away so much. So, I'm excited for it. But, let me know what you're gonna read in September. And please like, comment, and subscribe. So you'll be notified every time I post and I will see you on my next one. Bye!